Hey, this is Ace Bangler, and this is kind of a new thing that I'm doing. I'm building a vehicle and then showing it off to you guys. This week I built a Stug, and this is completely custom design that I made. Uh, it's the first custom tank that I've ever done, so uh, I think it turned out pretty good for being the first custom tank that I made. Um, I've done a few custom things before. Like in the past I've kind of just done miscellaneous tanks that you haven't seen. I built that one custom uh, desert car that you've seen. I built a turret for the M3 Grant. But other than that I haven't built any uh, uh, fully custom World War II tanks until this one. So uh, I've kind of wanted a Stug for a while and so that's why I chose this. And again, I thought it turned out pretty well. So, before I go into like the features and stuff of the tank, I'm gonna. I took some time lapses of me building the tank, so I'll quick show those to you, and then I'll get more into uh, the tank itself. So, go ahead and show you guys those time lapses and come back. Now I'll get, uh, show you guys some a uh, bit more in depth of the tank that I made. Uh, if you s saw like the end of the time lapse, you may not recognize it as being the same. I did go back after the time lapses and do some changes, uh, tweaked it a little bit, some different things. Uh, one of the main uh, noticeable things that I tweaked was the armor plate, the armor skirts, plus the turret, that's a big thing. And then I made it one shorter, like one brick shorter. Before these, the tires, wheels on the side, they were um, suspended. Before they were one out, one out. And so I took the uh, a brick layer off just because it seemed a little bit too tall before so changed that I've also modified the back slightly from before there's still um, one piece I could only find one of these little studs so before it was different than this but while modifying it I found that I didn't have two of these but uh, I thought it looked better like this so that's why there's only one of those there if you guys are wondering. I was going to have another one on this side make it a little bit more stable but didn't I couldn't find one so 
Other than that, I think everything else is the same. But so, I use Brickmania's um, one and a half width track links, partly just because I didn't have any more of the double wide ones. I think the one and a half wide suit it pretty well. I don't think it would matter if it had either one. I think it looks okay with these, so I'll probably just keep these, uh, the one and a half wide ones on it. It's got the armor skirts that can be removed easily. Those are basically just like the ones I had for my Panzer IV. It's got the two hatches. Originally, I almost only had room for the main commander's hatch here. But then I went and if you see these things on the side, there's just, I basically just squeezed the guy in there. Um, oops. Basically just squeezed him in there with, that's just kind of the only thing on the side there. So that's how that goes there. So there's the commander's hatch here, then the gunner's hatch on the side. Both can close there. This one's a bit more stubborn. Oh my, there's it closed. I have this little top thing that kind of be shift shifted so I can like go get to the cannon easier if I want to modify it. I tried to make it so the cannon could like fully go up. The cannon can move up like that. It can go down. It kind of can go to the sides. There's just a little bit blocking it there. But if you look in there, I used one of those Technic kind of arm pieces. Or like arm socket pieces. That little ball thing. And that allows it to move. So, I think if it was less bulky right here, um, it could move around more, but otherwise, I think just the up and down motion is good enough. Otherwise, I could kind of just tweak it a little bit if I wanted it to move more to the side, but uh, these things didn't really have that much movement on, like, to the side. It just had the basic little bit of movement, so... I got the little light pieces there, um, little shovel, hammer, and I got like the little things, but they don't open, obviously, and then I got the little exhaust things on the back, so, and I tried to put more detail on the side, so it's got a decent amount. While building this, I tried to get like a good amount of detail into it. I thought I got a decent amount for uh, the Stug. The Stug doesn't really have a ton of little details on it, but as far as putting them on with Legos, I thought I got a good amount of the things, like the little antennas, other stuff like that. But basically the main features, I think I got like the more low profile. That's why I lowered it down a le little level, because it, it just seemed way too high for a Stug, which was a more low profile tank, tank destroyer, so you wouldn't want it too tall. Uh, it was, uh, I think it was the one of the most produced tanks that the Germans used, and there's a lot of variants. This is, I think I've made the last variant, which is the Stug 3 Aus of G, I think that's the one I made. So, there's got the little gun stand, but it doesn't quite reach. But other than that, I think that's most of the features. The little armor skirts just pop on the, with those little backpack pieces. Go on pretty easily, come off pretty easily. Other than that, I think that's most of the features. So that's it for the Stug. 
again for my first custom tank I feel like it turned out pretty well uh, as far as this segment or this new type of segment I'm doing do you think this would be a cool thing to, uh, for me to continue have me build like maybe a weekly vi uh, vehicle maybe not a completely I can't promise that I'll get a vehicle out every week but I could try maybe if I throw on some of my old vehicles that are already built they probably won't all be custom by me this is just a special thing I'll try to make them custom but other than that I might throw in some of my brick mania models custom brick models stuff like that um, maybe a custom camo things but as far uh, leave your feedback down in the comments if you like this uh, sort of new segment custom a vehicle or maybe not just custom a, a vehicle segment Pro it probably won't be weekly I'm guessing I won't be able to get a tank out or a vehicle car out every week but I could try to get maybe like every two weeks every three weeks something like that so if you guys like this um, share with your friends um, like the video if, if so it helps the channel shout outs always help so thank you guys for watching and hope to see you guys in the next video